Pisces. Hello, for those of you who have been here before, welcome back. And for those of you who are the first time here, welcome. I'm Denise, this is Surrender to the Flow Tarot, and I will be doing the March monthly reading for the Collective of Pisces today. That's any of the 11 placements, they will all work. Okay, so the way that I do monthly readings is broken down week by week, how each week starts and how it ends, um, and then I pull a general overall advice card for the whole month at the end. We are going to use Major Arcana only for how the week start, the Von um, Oger Ex Anima, and how they end the White Witch Tarot, and then we'll use Full Tarot for clarifiers. I will have timestamps in the description box below so that you can come back throughout the month and just click on the week if you wanted to have, like, have a check in and see where you are. Okay, um, are you ready? Are you ready, Pisces? Here we go. Week one, how's week one start for Pisces? The hangman in the reverse, so that's about sh a shift of perspective, but looking in inward for it, not from external sources. Week two is justice. Okay, that's Libra. D doesn't have to be Libra. Um, I just mentioned them in case it's relevant. Week three. The moon, Pisces or Cancer in reverse. So that could be something that was previously hidden coming to light. See how that plays out. Week four. Week four. The Hermit, sideways, going into the upright. Okay, the Hermit is Virgo. The split is the Sun, which is Leo. The Empress is underneath that, which is Libra or Taurus. And on the bottom is the World, with the Devil underneath that. Okay, let's see how your weeks end. So it looks like you are closing out a cycle. It has something to do with you finding or regaining your um, being in your authentic self, in your um, embodying your authentic self and standing in your power um, and closing out an old cycle. There's introspection happening. There's healing happening. There's changes. All right, let's see how the weeks end. Week one, death sideways going into the upright, okay. Week two, strength flipped over, but didn't come out. The emperor, sideways going into the upright, so you might have Aries in your chart, you might not. Death is Scorpio, you might have it in your chart, you might not, okay. A few. Um, Week three, I feel like this is gonna be heavy for you this month. There's a lot of like significant change happen, happening on a lot of different levels, it looks like. And a general just like rebuilding of self. Week three, how's it end? The Fool. Oh, we're in Pisces season right now, right? Yeah, so happy birthday and happy belated birthday. The Fool is Aries. We got a couple Aries going on in here. Week four, let's see how it ends. The Star. Aquarius, sideways going into the upright. That's okay. So you got the hermit on the split and the devil on the bottom and the sun underneath the devil and the empress underneath the hermit. Okay. So we're dealing with divine counterparts. S there's some kind of relationship tied into this. I think you are the emperor that showed up, but we'll figure that out. Um, there's definitely, it's, dealing with toxic patterns that have to do with um, a, a relationship. And it's some kind of intimate relationship. Okay, I think this is about changing those, being aware of those, changing those, um, karma being handed out where it needed to be and growing yourself. 
Okay, week one, here we go. Starts with the hangman in reverse and ends with the death card sideways going into the upright, which is probably where you want it in the upright. Um, what is, we're gonna use the Night Sun Tarot, the shift of perspective that needs to happen for Pisces? What is the shift of perspective? It's something that you need to look inward for. You need to kind of block out all the external noise coming at you and look, sit in stillness because you have the answer inside of you. So what is this shift of perspective? that Pisces, that you want Pisces to be aware of. Ooh, okay. The Two of Swords and the Queen of Cups. So the Queen of Cups is Cancer. Are these upside down? Hilarity, okay. That's cool. That's cool that that happened that way. The Two of Swords and the Queen of Cups. the Two of Cups, and the Five of Swords. This is a whole lot of stress. The Emperor again. It's a whole lot of stress, and it's partially self-inflicted. It has to do with a deep heart heartbreak um, that, has, that is connected to this Queen of Cups, that this is someone you were in relationship with. And there's been... There's some kind of, you're not looking at something clearly from, you're looking at something from a biased perspective, but I'm not sure what. Okay, let's look at what are the two. So when you have the two of swords, that's when you're out of alignment, when you're you're knowing and you're being, your you're clear sight and clarity and your open heart, unconditional love being grounded in, in a place of moving from love are not in alignment because something has happened and it has caused you to fall out of whack and like you're going into the overthinking or you're trying to use thinking and rational and logic for a matter of the heart. You feel me? So let's see what the two things are. What is the, what is the first element out of alignment for Pisces that they're trying to bring into alignment? What is the first? Chariot, which is Cancer again, and the Queen of Cups is also Cancer, and the Eight of Wands. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. So this is how to communicate. This is this is you. I think wanting to. So what you're trying to bring into alignment is your is like your maybe you come to decisions quickly and possibly irrationally. Um, definitely, there's a sense of impulsiveness and like where you feel super drawn to do something about it and you're acting too soon. So that's one part is like taking, thinking you, taking in information and, and coming up with a conclusion and a course of action and wanting to implement it immediately. And probably it's too soon. Then probably there's more to be found out about it. And there's a different, you have to like bring in the element of love, of an open heart, of unconditional love into this. What's the second aspect? that Pisces, the three of swords. It's funny, they all came out sideways. Um, the way that you deal with pain, the way you hold on to pain, and there's some kind of a, an ignoring of, of the love that you have coming from a place of love still, you know what I mean? And, and sacredness. All right. Death, the death card for how um, week one ends. Well, so that's a metamorphosis that needs to happen, but it's not happening. So what does Pisces need to do to get the death card in the upright so that the rebirth can happen?
the Three of Cups. That's either a reconciliation or it's a counting on your soul tribe, on looking for support outside of yourself, letting yourself participate, um, be in a reunion with people that you've previously like been estranged from or just separated from. What can Pisces do to get the death card into the upright? The Knight of Pentacles. That's Virgo. Doesn't have to be. Okay. Take slow, steady, measured action. Not stagnant, not too fast, not reckless, right? Not impulsive, not rash. Be measured. It's learning how to be measured. What else does Pisces need to do to get this death card in the upright? The Fool, which is how week three ends. Okay. And the Ace of Swords. The Hangman, right? Which is how it started. And the Ten of Cups and the lovers yes okay so it has to do with your approach to conflict that has to do with your happiness with your romantic relationship happiness it has to do with you learning how to move more in a measured way, in a more measured way. Also, with the perfect balance of being carefree and measured. Do you know what I mean? Like, the balance of both of them. Not overly controlling, not manipulating, not feeling like you, you need to know how everything is going to play out and not manipulating situations to, to give you the outcome that you desire. It's about standing in your in integrity and standi standing in your peace and your balance and letting yourself show up that way. Okay, week two. Two starts out with just 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 justice and ends with the emperor sideways going into the upright. Okay. First, I want to look at the emperor. What what does Pisces need to do to get the emperor into the upright? Whatever you figure out in week one, justice is, you start week two with justice being served. So if that's you needing to take accountability for things, you're doing it. Whoever needs to is, it's, it's being, it's happening. You can pull cards on that in a second. I wanna see what you need to do to get the emperor into the upright. You might need to use a different deck just so that all the cards have a chance to come out. I'm going to shuffle one. There we go. The Ten of Swords. The worst is over. It's happened. This, ooh, man. It was brutal. And it's, it's brutal. It's still affecting you. I didn't, I'm not sure if this is happening right now. What else can... Pisces do or if this is I feel like it might be both it's like you carrying something that you've been carrying like lifelong pain what I think it's letting it fall finally letting the pain just like letting it letting it happen so that you can clear the dust out. Do you know what I mean? Like finally letting, sitting with it, sitting with the pain. 
What can Pisces do to get the Emperor into the upright? Yeah. Five of Pentacles. It's letting the dust, the dust settle. Letting the responsibility of, of inflicting the pain go back onto the people who inflicted the pain. And for you to not continue inflicting, projecting your pain onto other people and inflicting it on with them, inflicting them with it, Ugh, causing anguish for other people because you are moving, your core wound has something to do with feeling left out, not feeling good enough, being abandoned, neglected, betrayed, you know what I mean? Feeling like told you weren't enough, not feeling like you fit in. So this is letting, it's recognizing that the magician. It's moving, so you are a master manifester and you have an, you are right now at a place where you are manifesting and this is about ma making sure you're manifesting from a place of integrity, not a place of fear, not any place of misalignment at all, but integrity, you understand? That's what you need to do. Focus on whatever that is of those aspects of you to get you in that place where you are standing and open and ready to jump right in and you are a, a valued member of the team or community, not somebody, not a tyrant. <laughs> okay? <laughs> All right, Pisces, week three. Week three. I don't think we need to pull cards for justice because it's tied into why your emperor's not upright, right? We just did that, okay. So the moon in reverse and the fool. Curious, curious. So is this gonna tell us that you find out some information that then helps you get into the energy of the fool? We're gonna use a different deck. We're gonna use this one. Curious creatures. Let's see, what does Pisces need to know about the moon in reverse? Why? Where does Pisces need to put their attention in order to experience the moon in the way that you source intended them? Where does Pisces need to put their intentions to handle the moon, to experience the moon in the way that you intended for them? The Ten of Pentacles, that's being clear about what your end game is. The Three of Cups, which came up before, didn't it? Or maybe it didn't. The Page of Cups, which has been popping up um, on the underneath. The Three of Cups, so this could be, okay. The Hangman, the Two of Wands, the Hangman again. So it's a lot of, you're shifting your perspective, right? And learning how to look at things broader and, and be more open to solutions of how, how to meld and merge two seemingly opposing ideas, forces, beliefs, ways of action. And, and not being your own worst enemy um, and not thinking maybe that you know all the facts before you do whatever that is for you and, and moving out of your, making the choice to move out of your comfort zone into this next phase of you. And it's to do it with, it's either a reconciliation or it's... Um, like you're, you're about to have a soul tribe that you didn't even realize you had. What, mm, what is this three of cups manifesting like for Pisces? What's it, well, the sun, the ace of swords and the high priestess, okay. It, it's going to end with you and your, in, so it's about you standing in your integrity, you surrounding yourself with people who are also strong in their integrity, who are honest, who you can count on, and who 
simultaneously uplift you and you do the same for them who you become your the best version of you i don't i think that's what's about to happen for you and you don't see it coming that's exciting all right let's look at the fool for you and how week three ends let me get a drink Okay, the fool. That's wonderful. Whatever happens, it propels you to go jump full, full force, full steam ahead into a leap of faith into the beautiful, wild, unknown that's going to lead you to your dream, your, your, your star, your wish fulfillment. Okay, what does Pisces need to do to keep this fool in the upright? The Knight of Pentacles, which came out again before, and the High Priestess. Work on solidifying your, your dedication to moving, your dedication to the care and keeping of yourself, to being your dedication to being measured instead of impulsive and reckless and, and leaky, you know, be steady. And to the dedication to working on High Priestesses, you guys, um, is Pisces, is working on letting your intuition be your guide, but also tempering it, right? You guys are Pisceans. It's so hard for you to be human, a thousand percent. The death card and the four of cups are on the bottom and the seven of cups and the king of wands. Yes, standing in your power and becoming you, becoming you. Becoming you in a way that you haven't become so far in your life. It's pretty exciting. I'm going to pull one more for you. What can um, Pisces do to keep this fool in the upright? Keep the fool energy in the upright. Huh, it didn't fall. That's hilarious. The tower in reverse. The Empress. The Queen of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles. It's about seeing someone in all of their power and recognizing the work it takes and doing the work to upkeep the care and keeping of yourself, right? What is the Empress's? I'm not sure if the Empress is you. I feel like it's maybe not. Um, what are the Empress's mm, intentions toward Pisces? Or how does Pisces feel about the Empress? The fool. <laughs> Sideways. So this is tied into a person where the next part of your life journey is, is tied into this empress. And it's about how you enter into this next phase. And, it, and the universe is strongly urging you to, or reminding you to focus on being measured, being grounded and being open all at the same time, right? And, and, and looking at things with reverence and sacredness. The moon, which is you on the bottom, and then strength was on the split. Okay, week four, which is starting with the hermit. And ends with the star. And they're both sideways, both going into the upright, which is good. It's where you want both of them. Okay. What can Pisces do to get the Hermit in the upright? Or what does, what does Pisces need to know about maintaining this Hermit energy? The star in reverse, not to, not to fight it, not to fight, ooh, not to fight the healing, let the healing happen. So the hermit has a lantern and in the lantern is the star. You feel me? Okay. Oh 
you're right there for your for your dream like fruition it's right there for you Be open to the info that is going to come through to you, okay? To the awakening you're having and to the downloads that are happening. Be, be open to them. What can Pisces do to keep this hermit energy? The Ten of Wands. Put down all of the burdens that you are carrying that don't belong to you. Do a reassessment. Use this reflection to look at burden, the burdens in your life, the things you feel like are burdens and where the, the cause of them, how much you've contributed, what are you taking on that isn't yours? You know what I mean? Justice, letting, letting karma happen, right? Taking the action so that justice can be served so that growth can happen. And this is tied into this is the marriage card. It's tied into the how the the mel the melding and the merging of two separate entities that are coming together to make a third. How that's going to happen? The hermit letting the healing fully, just being open to the healing with an open heart and vulnerability, and and be in it for the long haul. The Ace of Pentacles dedicated to the care and keeping of building your foundation and understanding you and understanding all the aspects of you and not being your own saboteur, not getting all up in your head, learning how to halt it, recognize it, halt it, and stop it from taking over. All right, the star. What does Pisces need to do <clears throat> to get the star into the upright? The page of swords sideways trust stop looking for stop looking outside of you to find out if someone is being untrue to you do you know what i'm saying it's just like stalking this is this is like is stalking to try to find out information but i think this is stalking because you are insecure you feel me not because like somebody is doing something to you it's an insecurity you have The Three of Swords, okay. That's heartbreak. What is, we need one more. Let's, let's have one more. Oh. The Devil. Yeah, it's trusting. Something has happened in your relationships, either in the past or in this one, where you really, it's really hard for you just to straight up trust someone. That they're gonna be there, they're not gonna cheat on you, that they're gonna, you know, any of that stuff. And, this is saying you, you, in order for you to have everything you've wanted, you have to give up control. You have to recognize where your fear is informing your actions and how it's fucking up your life and how you are doing it. Death and the fool. Let the rebirth happen and let yourself start over with the free jumping in um, leap of faith. Not recklessly and not without license. You're jumping in as an actualized person. You're jumping in after having reflected and done work on yourself. You feel me? Okay. So it's about holding space for yourself and how to hold space for the people that you love. Okay, Pisces, um, let's get your last word of advice from the Sacred Geometry Oracle deck, which the box fell on the floor. It's a cool deck. Oh, man, did I not, I didn't check my sleeves, and they probably have hair all over my hoodie. Sorry about that. It's probably distracting. It's the very end of the reading. You're my literal last reading. Whoops. Sorry. I've been going through it the past two days. That's why I just try to ignore all of that, how I'm physically showing up. It's been rough. Okay. One last piece of advice for Pisces. Octahedron. It came out in reverse. Some of them do have reversals, so I will see when I look, and some of them don't. This one does. The octahedron with its eight triangular faces is one of 
five three side of one of five three dimensional geometric shapes commonly called the platonic solids. Each has equal angles, edges of equal length, and equal faces, and each would fit within a sphere. Within their structure, they hold cosmic wisdom. This card honors your inner child. Pulling it, you are asked to remember to connect with that perfect being within and play with the reason for your inquiry. Have serious matters of late prevented you from laughing and feeling the joy that is your birthright? Your child wants to run and dance and feel the air streaming over bare skin. Your child laughs at the serious face you make as you look in the mirror and tells you to lighten up. The Three of Cups keeps jumping back into my head. Your child is curious and adventuresome and sometimes even reckless, but always in a state of growth. Listen to this magical part of yourself and honor the messages you receive. Give yourself a hug. Learning how to be measured and enjoy at the same time and not get lost in either one, right? Your inner child feels wounded and alone and doesn't want to go out and play. You may be physically ill or in a state of emotional distress. You may find yourself caring for a real or elder kid. In these difficult situations, look to the wisdom of your inner child and adjust your intent toward the healing that must take place so that the light of happiness can again enter the lives of everyone you love. Okay. I hope that this helped, Pisces. Um, hang in there, okay? Thank you for coming and sharing your energy with me. And thank you for coming and holding space for me so that I could attempt to translate the messages coming through for you. I will see you in like two weeks at your mid-monthly. Till then, bye, Pisces.